Good evening, graduates, and welcome to the 2021 Berkeley City College commencement exercises. You have come to the closing of one part of your journey while standing at the fork in the road for the next. The theme for this year's commencement is trailblazers. Among you are trailblazers in its truest definition, forging new paths where none has existed, as the first in your family to go to college, or opening your first business, or the first to transfer to a four-year university. Whatever your career or academic goal, I hope that your time at Berkeley City College has prepared you with the skills you will need for the next part of your journey. For some, your educational training in the sciences have set you on a path to find cures for genetic diseases, while others of you had trained in modern languages to bridge connections among different cultures. And the political scientists among you have had a few eventful years with local, state, and national elections that have made history. What is most impressive is that you have persisted in your academic studies amidst a health pandemic and a racial reckoning that has forever impacted our society. It might have been easier to say you couldn't go on, but you chose to stay the course. Take a moment to look around you. You likely had family, loved ones, and friends to support you throughout your time at BCC, especially during this last year. While we have missed sharing space with you in the classrooms, the library, the atrium, and throughout the halls of BCC, we are honored to have been a part of this last year to celebrate you today. The future of our democratic society rests in the hands, minds, and hearts of each and every one of you. You have the power to build an economic workforce and a community that is committed to equity, racial justice, and the belief that our humanity is greater than our differences. My hope for you is that you take every opportunity to keep moving, be bold, be brave, be unapologetic about the journey you want to travel, and know that you are a trailblazer, for the road you travel is yours to discover. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2021. Welcome, class of 2021. My name is Dr. Cindy Reese, and I am the president of the Peralta Board of Trustees. On behalf of the board, I am so honored, so privileged to welcome and congratulate the class of 2021. Graduates, this past year has been like no other time in our lives. This pandemic has forced us to redefine what a new way of life looks like. It's compelled us to think about how we interact with others, how we work, how we go to school, how we play sports in a COVID-19 environment. The pandemic has also laid bare the egregious inequities in our society. In this past year, we've witnessed the senseless deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and so many more lives that have tragically come to an end way too soon. We are also witnessing the extreme and raging anti-Asian violence and xenophobia through the killings in Atlanta and through the acts of violence to our Asian American and Pacific Islander communities here in Oakland, San Francisco, New York City, and across the country. But we are also now feeling the tectonic plates of structural and systemic change shifting beneath us as our country engages in a long overdue moment of reflection, action, struggle, and reckoning. Amidst all of this, graduates, you endured. Your resilience, your perseverance, your refusal to not fail, your decision to move forward is greatly significant 
not to be underestimated at this historical moment in particular. Some of you may have been the first to graduate from college in your family. Some of you worked several jobs and had a full load of classes, but did so in order to survive. Some in this past year lost your jobs and lived in your car. Some of you lost very dear loved ones who were the very anchors and supports throughout your life. In summary, you have all been through so much, yet you are here. You made it to the zenith of this academic journey. And that, my dear graduates, is a monumental feat. This last year has taught us that the world will not be kind and that life will always be uncertain. But it's also taught us that it is how you respond to your circumstances that will shape your life story, that will shape your narrative. As you move on in the journey of life, class of 2021, remind yourself when things get tough and they will get tough of who you want to be in this world and use the resilience, determination, perseverance, and hope that got you here today to the zenith of this academic journey of yours to shape your life story and get you to the many other destinations you imagine for yourself. Graduates, as I end my words to you, I ask for one thing. I want you to take a moment to think about the largest, grandest, most monumental dream you had when you were a child and go there for one moment. While you're there, feel the inspiration, feel the happiness, feel the hope, feel the energy, feel the love and feel how unbounded that dream was. And now, today, at this moment, remember that dreaming child. Because then you imagine you could do anything. Because then your dream was limitless. My challenge to you, graduates, as you position yourself forward in the journey of life, is to channel the wisdom of that little you who dared to dream so big, who dared to dream so largely. Class of 2021, remember that you are the author of your dreams. Your dreams are the maps to the life you want to live. But remind yourself always to not let anyone or anything stand in your way. Today, graduates, you've achieved the dream. And I am so humbled, so inspired by you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Dream big now more than ever. And if you do that, I know you will leave this world a far better place than you found it. I salute you. Hello, Peralta community. As the interim chancellor of the Peralta Community College District, it is my absolute honor to congratulate the class of 2021 on your graduation achievement. You have done something that is truly amazing. On top of the normal obstacles associated with attending college, we have had the monumental challenge of dealing with a global pandemic. 
Campuses were closed, classes were conducted remotely, services were provided online, all to reinforce social distancing and protect you, the faculty, our employees, and the community against the spread of COVID-19. It has not been easy, but still, through it all, you persevered. You have shown unbelievable resilience and persistence just to get here. And while graduation is an important milestone, I'm really excited about your future. I know you are going to succeed. I have no doubts whatsoever. Why? Because you will persist, you will adapt, and you will thrive. The tools you gain through this experience means you can accomplish anything you set out to do. Anything. You've proven you can overcome anything. You already have. Much success and goodwill on your journey. And don't forget those who help you to get there. Those teachers or counselors or staff, the friends and colleagues who encourage you, and most of all, your family, your mom, dad, your sisters, brothers, grandparents in some cases, and in some, your children. What a role model you are for them. We are all a part of your success and we expect great things from you. We are proud to have contributed in helping you reach this milestone. Again, all the best and congratulations on a job well done. Hello, I am Congresswoman Barbara Lee, and I proudly represent the beautiful 13th Congressional District of California. Of course, it's the most enlightened congressional district in the nation. Thank you to President Abella Reese and Interim Chancellor Jackson, and a special thank you to the teachers and staff of the Peralta Colleges. I am truly inspired by the work that you all do each and every day for these beautiful and brilliant students. Congratulations! To this year's graduates of Berkeley City College, the College of Alameda, Laney College, and Merritt College, you did it in spite of the many challenges and obstacles. And you are graduating in uncertain times as we struggle to end a historic pandemic and rebuild our economy. You have faced adversity and prevailed to get here today. And I want to tell you that I am so proud of you for all of the work that you have done to get to this point. This is a real accomplishment and you all deserve to be celebrated today and you deserve to celebrate. And remember that this is just the beginning. Keep working hard and keep fighting for what you believe in. You have many more accomplishments and successes ahead of you. No matter what you do now and no matter the challenges before us, be bold, be fearless, be compassionate, be visionary, and yes, shake things up. You are the new generation of leaders who will save the planet, who will end wars, who will realize our nation's founding promise of equality, and who will strengthen our public education system for young people following in your footsteps. Yes, this will take a lot of work, and yes, there will be setbacks, but the fact that you are here today proves that you can do it. I'll leave you with the words of one of the great humanitarians of our time, Marion Wright Edelman, founder of the Children's Defense Fund. She said, education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and the world better than you found it. Graduates, with your pursuit of education and your achievement here today, you have the capacity to change the lives of people around the world for the better, and I am confident that you will make it happen. Again, thank you for giving me a chance to speak with you for a few minutes, and once again, congratulations to this year's graduates of the Peralta Community Colleges. Welcome students, friends, family, and most importantly, the Berkeley City College graduating class of 2021. My name is Matthew Freeman, professor of political science and president of the Academic Senate right here at BCC. On behalf of the faculty at Berkeley City College, it is my honor to say 
Congratulations on your tremendous accomplishments. What a journey it has been getting to this day. It should not be forgotten that the accomplishments we come together to celebrate today were able to be achieved during one of the most unprecedented and tumultuous times in a generation. The list of challenges that each and every one of you have faced during your time at BCC is almost beyond comprehension. And yet, despite these challenges, the choices you have made and the risks you have taken have brought you to this moment. This day is yours to celebrate, to keep, and to cherish forever. Because today, you are a college graduate. And although this commencement is happening online and with the digital distance from each other, we know all too well, it is important to pause and remember that you were never alone on this journey. In fact, I'm sure that every one of you can think of a friend, a loved one, a counselor, a teacher, or a fellow classmate who encouraged you, challenged you, or was simply there for you to lean on when times got tough. If there is one thing these unpredictable times have affirmed, it is in the predictable power of community, in our ability to work past our differences to find commonality, to challenge each other, disrupt the status quo, and put in the work needed to bring about change in our world while blazing new trails for ourselves, for others, and future generations. Graduates, as you look toward the horizon, towards what is next, seeking to discover new pathways, remember to take with you the lessons you have learned from the challenges you have overcame here at BCC. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your commitment to your learning, and thank you for working so passionately to empower your own life and the lives of others through your pursuit of education. I can say without question that Berkeley City College will remember this graduating class forever. We will always be here for you, always. We're so proud to have been a part of your journey. We wish you well, and once again, congratulations to the Berkeley City College graduating class of 2021. On behalf of the Berkeley City College Classified Professional Staff, I am honored to be here to share in this momentous occasion today. It is with gratitude and awe that I witness your achievements through this year of unprecedented events. From the pandemic, virtual learning, racial unrest, governmental upheaval, and social isolation, you have demonstrated immense courage and resiliency. I have been encouraged by the determination you have shown in your continued dedication to your education and to BCC. May you look back and remember the strength you displayed during this challenging time and all that you have accomplished and celebrate. Although the difficulty of figuring out an almost virtual world was stressful, there have been some surprising benefits. I have enjoyed zooming in my pajama bottoms, drinking my morning cup of coffee, feeling the sun on my face, and connecting with those I could not due to conflicting schedules and too many activities. I have learned to adjust and be present and pay attention to what is important and what makes life worth living. Listen to that inner voice that encourages you to keep going and experience the beauty of life. I wish you all the happiness your heart can hold. In the words of Harriet Tubman, always remember that you have within you the strength, the power, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. May your next journey be filled with wonder. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good evening, class of 2021. Today is truly a special day, your day. While I cannot peer through the screen and see each of your faces, I'm proud of your achievements and your graduation from Berkeley City College. Now, the word of the day is trailblazer. To each of you, 
that word might mean something different. Whether it is a perennial playoff choking Portland Trailblazers, or the parents who dare venture into this foreign country and grind day in and day out to provide for our higher education this land of opportunity. We all know a trailblazer. I know because throughout the past 10 months, I've had the fortune to work with many student leaders who exemplify this very word. Despite the pandemic, despite our reality being stuck in our rooms alone, they have extended out a hand for us. In July and March, we held a safe spaces where open discussions flourished about our experiences with Black and Asian American hate crimes. In October, we presented election information and resources that revitalized student engagement in civics at BCC. In the past three months, there have been consistent rotation of open mics, trivia matches, and game nights to help students connect and de-stress virtually. Throughout the school year, student ambassadors have stood by the live chat on the BCC website, responding at moment's notice to questions about enrollment or transferring. And finally, in response to student concerns about the use of third-party proctoring in our classrooms, student leaders negotiated and soon collaborated with the BCC faculty towards immediate solutions, thus upholding equity, student privacy, and academic integrity. I'm proud to say that the initiatives these students took upon blew away expectations at the regional level and solidified BCC as a college that stood strong in this year filled with uncertainty. And by sacrificing their free time, their breaks, their weekends, all for the sake of providing a better experience for students, they have shown that our peers are here for us. And not just students, the faculty, the staff, the BCC community is here for us. Now, graduation is both a time of celebration and apprehension. You may be asking, where do I go from here? What's my next job going to be like? And how will I fit in at my new university? These are all valid questions. And I'll tell you my answer. Become the trailblazer. Because when you stand strong in the face of adversity, you are invincible. Take those risks, because the consequences can never match all the possibilities you open up from taking that step forward. But more importantly, you inspire others to have faith in themselves and chase their own dreams. So, I challenge you to march into the dark and unknown of the world and become the torch of hope that lights the way for your family, friends, and community. Congratulations, Berkeley State College Class of 2021. Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, mentors, administrators, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2021. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I mean, I'm probably on a screen somewhere in your home, so we're basically family. I'm a planner, not like an, okay, let me jot down what I have to get done today planner. I'm the type of person that has a five, 10, and 15 year life plan. Growing up, I worked a variety of jobs alongside my parents. I was a babysitter, caterer, did landscaping, and even cleaned offices. At a young age, I learned the value of hard work. I saw how hard my parents worked, and I wanted to make them proud. When I graduated high school, I was set to attend a four-year college, and I was dating the cutest boy on the lacrosse team. A year later, I dropped out, and then I got dumped. We all make plans and think that we can reach our goals alone. But in reality, we need a support system. That summer was particularly difficult, but I came out a stronger person, and I owe that to my family and friends. They have supported me every single step of the way, and I want to emphasize the importance of having a support system. When I told my parents I would be attending Berkeley City College, they stood by my decision and told me that whatever choice I made, they would be there to help. I used to think that hard work alone was going to propel me to greatness, but that isn't true. Behind every great leader is an even greater support system. It is so important to have someone rooting for you and reminding you that you are not alone. The world is a scary place, but you do not have to face it alone. I'm so blessed to have my family that has been there for me to celebrate my wins and pick me up when I have fallen. 
I hope that every student has someone they can rely on, whether it be family, friends, or mentors. While at BCC, I gained a new support system, my professors and my counselors. I used to think that asking for help was a sign of weakness, but I have come to learn that it is a sign of strength. During my first semester at BCC, I was so focused on making a good impression that I struggled in silence. I was afraid to ask my professors for help, but then I realized that if I wanted to excel, I needed to ask for help. My professors turned out to be amazing people that actually wanted to help me. I was afraid of the counselors as well, but then I met Denise Jones. She was the most helpful and attentive counselor I had ever met. She helped me figure out which classes I needed to complete to graduate and pointed me in the right direction. If I had not asked my professors and Denise Jones for help, I would not be standing here today. My five-year life plan did not follow what I had in mind, but with the support of my family, professors, and counselors, I have made a new one. I fear the unknown, but stepping into the world feels less scary knowing that I have people that will catch me if I fall. I want to share with you a quote from Jodie Foster. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you bob aimlessly in the current. Wouldn't you know that your path was there all along, waiting for you to knock, waiting for you to become. This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders, or your lovers. Your path is your character defining itself more and more every day, like a photograph coming into focus. The ups and downs of life make us who we are. What defines us is how we handle our wins and our losses. As we step out into the world as graduates, we are on a new journey to success. I believe that we are all destined for greatness. I grew up in Richmond, California, and I see the potential of the people in my community. I want to see more black and brown students graduating from college. I want to see them in positions of power and making a change in the world. Change starts from within, and we must be the change. We must be tomorrow's positive images. Our actions must make a statement and send a clear message, one that says wherever we come from, whatever we have or don't have, whatever our color, sex, or cultural background, we can achieve greatness together. Before I go, I would like to say thank you to the women who have inspired me the most. Clara Jeffries, Isabel Howe, Nicole Hollis, Wendy Mivet, and most importantly, Mimami. Congratulations, class of 2021, and remember, pónganse las pilas y échenle ganas. Hello, Berkeley City College. My name is Francesca, and on behalf of myself and my classmates, I'd like to begin my speech by sharing my gratitude. There are so many people to be thankful for. To start, thank you to the faculty and staff who have either provided the knowledge or helped us into the places that would then prepare us to go out into the world. To maintenance and security who always, I mean always, had a friendly greeting for me or even words of encouragement when I was rolling into an exam. Uh, thank you for financial aid I've received for the state, the city, and the school who ha that has made it possible for me to stand here in front of you. And thank you to each and every one of you who are watching that had a part in helping us as a school make it through such uncertain and intimidating times. Like some of you fellow graduates, I will be the first in my family to graduate. And now that I am, I am moving on to receive a bachelor's in child development as my, I chose child development as my major because my aim is to use that degree to become a special education teacher with a focus on working with autism. As a high school student, I had a, spent a great deal of time in the special education classrooms, hanging out with some kids there that became really good friends of mine and aiding a wonderful teacher who helped me through some truly difficult times while showing me just how special her job was. Our theme this year is trailblazers, and being a trailblazer is being able to follow your passions and use that passion to help in your community. Special education is just my way of helping the community, but there are so many other ways our class will go forward to do their part, and of that I am sure. The, old spe the special education teacher at my old high school is how I was personally inspired to help, but this goal hasn't come without obstacles. And even now, the word obstacle feels like such a massive understatement. Uh, after I left high school at 19 years old, I was in a life-altering accident that left me with a spinal cord injury. Experiencing something like this, you begin to have a terrifying train of thought. Questions like, will I ever walk again? Uh, what will my life look like if I don't? And even, will I need someone to take care of me for the rest of my life? The doctors and specialists alike told us I likely wouldn't move or feel below my waist. And when I proved them wrong, I was told, sure, but you'll likely never walk again. 
I was in the hospital for a year. I had 17 surgeries while I was there. And I went through three physical therapists that all eventually dropped me because they claimed there was nothing more they could do for me. And this went on until I met my current therapist, Stephanie Camilla, who has pushed me harder than anyone and just a couple weeks ago had me take my crutches up onto a hiking trail. Stephanie, I truly would not be where I am or who I am without you, and thank you. Physical therapy has come with many wins and what felt like many more losses. I've gone from my wheelchair to my crutches, or to a walker, to a, then to my crutches, and then back to my wheelchair. Overall, most of these wins, though, through my time here at Berkeley City College were impossible, or seemed it just a few years ago. I learned to ride a bike, which I took a few falls from. I also learned to drive again, which gave me the independence I needed to continue both my education and my recovery. And just a few weeks ago, I took my very first unaided step. It was messy and scary, but at least I stopped taking what I can't do at face value. While I was scrolling through speech after speech looking for the best way I could appropriately represent myself and all of you, I heard another disabled graduate's speech and when he said, doubts will kill more dreams than failure ever will, that stuck. And that's really what I'm saying here. People will doubt you in your lives and possibly even doubt you at every major crossroads you reach. But for every handful of those who will doubt you, there will be at least one unwavering supporter, and that is the voice you'll follow. And if at a time in your life you can't find that voice, then follow mine when I tell you if you are convinced that you will succeed, that aura of confidence is far harder to refute than any of the skeptics. Our society has a way of telling the disabled and the different that they are incompatible or just incapable. But that message is changing, and whether you're differently abled and wheelchair-bound, or you struggle with anxiety, ADHD, anxiety, depression, or any other disability, or maybe you just start out with circumstances that would hold anybody back. Berkeley City College has given us all an equal opportunity to flourish. My classes were all beautifully diverse, with different ages, ethnicities, abilities, and circumstance. Uh, I had classmates, including my partner, who traveled half a world away to pursue their dreams right here in the U.S., and specifically here in Berkeley. I'll be forever grateful for the opportunities I received here. And no matter your circumstance, or maybe especially with whatever circumstance you fought through to get here, I am so proud of this entire class. For many of us, BCC will just be a stop in our educational career, but for a lot of us, this will be the final stop. Regardless, for all of us, this graduation is a transformative moment in our lives, and we made it here while living through a once-in-a-lifetime global pandemic amidst political turmoil and massive developments in the fight for equality. Thank you all for the opp amazing opportunity to speak, and just four, just four years ago, I never would have imagined that I would go to college, graduate from college, and then have the opportunity to speak to all of you as class salutatorian. Before I leave here, I just have two more people to thank. Uh, my mother, who spent practically every day of that year in the hospital room with me, and my partner, Ward, who walks every single day with me, regardless of if it's 12 p.m. or 12 a.m., or regardless of if we've been taking exams all day, he's right there with me. Um, both of them are the reason I had the courage to come up here and speak to all of you. And if I uh, leave you with anything, please remember how much weaker doubt is when you have the right people and the right place to stand with you. Thank you and congratulations, Berkeley City College, class of 2021. Hello, graduates. I'm Berkeley Mayor Jesse Adegin. I'm honored to serve as a keynote speaker for your 2021 Berkeley City College commencement. I want to first congratulate all of the graduates this year. Today is the culmination of years of hard work and sacrifice and comes in the middle of a global pandemic that prevents us from gathering in person to celebrate your accomplishments. This past year, you have had to overcome great adversity. And when the first COVID-19 cases were reported in Alameda County, we did not know how long this invisible threat would be with us and we knew less about how to control it. Many of us thought we would be in lockdown for maybe a few weeks and then it became months, and now over a year. All of a sudden, everything closed, including your campus, and you had to pivot to virtual learning. I want to take this opportunity to thank Berkeley City College President Angelica Garcia and all the administrators and faculty at Berkeley City College for not only moving quickly in transitioning to distance learning, but providing ongoing support to students and families during this pandemic, including food donations, and support for mentoring and other basic needs. You put the needs of our community first and we are so deeply appreciative of all that you've done to get us through this pandemic. I want to acknowledge that many of you had to juggle school and other responsibilities. 
Some of you have had to care for sick loved ones, work multiple jobs, or care for your children who also could not go to the classroom. Some of you have had to overcome great challenges, including maybe losing your job, facing housing insecurity and homelessness, food insecurity or economic hardship. We know this pandemic has exposed the ugly truth about our society. And while some have made great fortunes, many have suffered. Small businesses have closed. People have been out of work. Some have lost their homes. All the while, we have faced the global threat of climate change and domestic challenges of racial injustice, growing inequality, and threats to our democracy. How we move forward as a society post-pandemic will define what kind of a world we will live in and leave for our children. Your responsibility is to use your education that you gained here at Berkeley City College to shape that future into one that is equitable, and to make sure that others have the same opportunities that you have also had. Today is the next step in your journey in life, and whether it may be a four-year institution, a professional degree, or a new career, your time at Berkeley City College not only provided a foundation of learning, but also personal growth and a commitment to social change. You must use your education to make a broader difference in our society. You should be proud of what you've accomplished and what you will accomplish in your future. But we also know that this would not be possible without the support of your teachers, your family, and your friends. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the teachers for their selfless dedication to their students and your families for being a critical support network to help you succeed. You blaze a trail for others now to follow. I also want to thank Berkeley City College for being an invaluable partner with the City of Berkeley to expand Opportunity for All. Working with Berkeley City College over the past four years, we have launched the Berkeley Promise Program to provide free education and mentorship to low-income Berkeley high school students. BCC has also played a leadership role in Berkeley's 2020 vision, a collective impact initiative to close the opportunity gap in our public schools for Black and Latinx students. BCC is a learning community founded on the principle that all are welcome. And since 1974, this school has provided a foundation for generations of students to gain workforce training, certificate and degree programs, and to prepare for transfer to four-year universities. Our community college system is a great equalizer, enabling people of all generations to learn and to grow. And the values of this school align with those of the city of Berkeley, a commitment to diversity, opportunity, knowledge, and social justice. I believe that BCC is emblematic of Berkeley's future. Students who come here dream big. They strive for something better and through education are working to improve themselves and create a brighter future. BCC makes it possible for thousands of young people including immigrants, students of color, and first-generation college youth like myself, as well as those re-entering the workforce. BCC is a place where people of all walks of life can come together, learn together, and collaborate. And it's that spirit of innovation and collaboration that defines the city of Berkeley. So I want to thank Berkeley City College for your work to improve the lives of so many in the Berkeley community. BCC is also founded on the principles of inclusion, equity, diversity, and social justice. We know at BCC, students always challenge the status quo and think big. You're part of a long line of dreamers and thinkers who have made Berkeley a center for innovation and social action. Here in Berkeley, ideas and inventions are created here. Movements are born here. Our actions have a global impact. This year's commencement thing is trailblazers, and I can't think of a more appropriate message. Each of you are trailblazers. You have overcome the adversity of this past year and are creating a brighter future for you and for your families. Through the darkness of 2020 and a global pandemic, a brighter future is ahead for all of us. And you have overcome great adversity to get to this point, and your graduation today provides an example for others 
that if they work hard and dream big, they can accomplish anything. The theme of trailblazers also reminds me of a quote from the late Dr. Martin Luther King. The hope of a secure and livable world lies with, a dis with disciplined nonconformists who are dedicated to justice, peace, and brotherhood. Trailblazers in human, academic, scientific, and religious freedom have always been nonconformists. In any cause that concerns the progress of mankind, put your faith in the nonconformists. Well, here in Berkeley, we're nonconformists. We're trendsetters. And like Dr. King, we must also be trailblazers for justice and social change. You're graduating from a place known for its trailblazing achievements. Berkeley is a place known for trailblazing legislation. Policies that were the first of its kind and deemed too radical are now commonplace throughout the world, such as curbside recycling, benefits for same-sex couples, and divesting from foreign governments and fossil fuel companies. More recently, we were the first city in the country to adopt a soda tax, the first to ban natural gas and new construction, and are leading national debates around reimagining public safety and housing justice. Many of these trailblazing policies originated from people like you, and students have brought for unique forward-thinking ideas uh, that have created groundbreaking legislation. So if you have an idea or a vision don't let people attempt to shut you down. Just because something's unique or out of the box doesn't mean it's wrong. The only way we will change society is through bold, nonconformist thinking. And just because something is difficult to achieve does not mean it's impossible. In fact, it is often the right decisions that are always the most difficult to make. So you're part of a long tradition of bold thinkers and nonconformists who've changed the world. So use your education to get back and to create a better future. While today is the beginning of the next part of your journey, know that the future is yours to shape. And we're living in a time of immense possibilities. Technology has brought us closer together and opened up windows for new opportunities. And as you move forward, whether it may be a four-year university, a trade school, a new career, or something else, know that trailblazers do not do it alone. Behind every major accomplishment, there's always been a team to back them up. So seek the advice and support of your friends, your family, your colleagues, your teachers, whoever you trust, because they will be there to support you. There are many challenges that lie ahead, and it will be up to all of us to solve them. From climate change to income inequality, your ideas and your vision will be key to solving today's problems of tomorrow. Take the knowledge and experience that you have gained during your time at Berkeley City College and chart your own path. I'm reminded of the famous Robert Frost poem and its signature ending. Two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. Today, we're here to celebrate your trailblazing accomplishments and to help chart your future path. Choose the path less traveled. Be bold, be nonconformist, be fearless. Take what you learned at BCC and create a better future for you, your family, and for your world. And as we are coming out of this past year, Know that there's hope for the future. Thank you for your perseverance and your resilience. Congratulations once again, and best wishes for the future. Farzone Abasode Nichba. Marwa Abdelghani. Hemen G. Abraham. Milat Barhana Abraham. Marwa Abu Bakr, Alejandra Maria Azevedo, Rishu Acharya, Zainab Adam, Jose Alfredo Adame Medina, Alika Michaela Arinto Africa, Rita Aga. Alyssa Aguilar Gladys Maritza Aguilar Vital India D. Aguilera Joshua Benson Aguirre Sharon Zezette Aguirre Gonzalez Sarah Shamdinso Ahasi Sharon Shamdabubi Ahasi Yasna Ahmadi Bashir Ahmed 
Amani Alebda, Maybelline Rocio Alferez, Anna Patricia Alfro, Bushra Al Harbi, Akhtar Ali, Yumna Ali, Iman Ahmed Al Kaheli. Salwa El Kaheli, Ali Naji El Kaheli, Al Hamza Al Kafi, Deborah Sue Allen, Vanessa Sandra Altamirano, Nola Lee Altimus, Rayad Khalid Al Tour, Diana Amelia. Aaron Amgat Kwan, Shoal Amiri, Aya Milani Ampon, Gian Ann, Caitlin E. Anderson, Khalid Jervan Anderson, Malik Zenon Anderson, FNU Ankita. Ethan Parker Angra, Nalatporn Apichai Taiwan, Luis Fernando Argueta, Pamela Arachea Cristaldo, Malu Aruda Mendez, Sonam Calden Aria, Nancy Avila Cervantes. Usman M. Ayu, Derek Asmuda, Melissa A. Azolino, Partu Babakan, Abadelahab Badawi, Shashwat Bajaj, Align Jake Balano. Jennifer D. Balch, Vivian Balderas, Angelina T. Banks, Justin William Banta, Emily Juliet Banuelos, Keiko Barfield, Demisha D. Barker, Esme Barrios. Cerise J. Bennett, Tyler W. Bennett, Rahwa A. Baraki, Robert N. Betancourt, Sagan Bayan, Sabine Bandari, Anmol Singh Buller. Alexander Mitchell Bialdanes, Asusena Blanco Diaz, Blake River David Bogert, Sarah A. Bogert, Joseph Lincoln Booz, Diera Buchelian, Nikisha R. Bryce. Kennedy Yvonne Brooks, Kenya Iona Brown, Syra Zoe Brown, Samantha L Brown, Violet S Bryant, Daniel Hugh Tuan Bui, Tu Ka Bui. Cleo Avarose Terrazola Butiao, Carmen Anahi Kabura, Holly Yuko Kane, C.J. Callop, Tatiana Kalonji, Sasha I. Camacho, Mila Nicole Campbell. Wanda B. Campbell, 
Isabella Blue Campisi, Aurelia Caneda, Tavi L. Carpenter, Tiffany Carson, Lakeisha D. Carter, Drayden Elise Case, Andrea Castaneda, Yolanda Castaneda, Nicole Castillo, Eric Castro, Laura Cazares, Luis Emmanuel Seha, Caitlin Allison Chan, Robert J. Chan, Christina Chenko, Lavon Lene Cheney, Ioannis Guillemus Sharalampopoulos, Kimberly M. Chavez, Luis Chavez, Doris A. Chavez Ugalde, Micah Benedict Chu, Dore Chen, Haoyang Chen, Mang Ying Chen, William Patrick Cheney, Jade Desiree Chevalier, Nock Chung, Diego Tomas Cisneros, Alexander Peter Clark, Nicholas Hillard Coleman. Benjamin Oliver Collins, Sarah Ariel Cooper, Jordi Allen Corona, Crystal P. Cosio, Katarina Natali Kubas, Jordan Renee Cummings, Jessica Teresa Dadley. Martina Sabel D'Ambrosio, Gabriel Michael De Silva, Sarah Dawson McLean, Lilibeth De Leon, Reagan Bijan Demby Vincent, Wilson Anthony De Mesa, Mohammed Darham. Daniela Diaz, Emily Elizabeth Diaz, Marilyn Denise Diaz, Aria Z Dill, Irie Francesca Dimasue, Tatiana Dimitrova Pelov, Stella Alexandria Dixon. Caroline Donacimento de Silva, Cameron Ayeo Dodd, May Lynn Dolan, Punsak Dolma, Justin Michael Damagma, Joshua J D Duangdara, Giles Drief. Diamond Helena Duarte, Ella Dushono, Jordan Michelle Dungo, Christopher Aaron Edwards, Kalima Zakira El Amin, Rowan M. El Mazayan, Francis Memin E. Encarnado, Ermun Enktufshin. Balor Erdine Oshir, Jenny Sophia Ellen Erickson Hammonds, Wendy Yesenia Escorcia, Alexandra Lillian Evans, Antonio R. Everett, J. S. Factor, Andrew J. Falk. Yunzi Fang, 
Julia R. Farbman Aidan Farnsworth Matthew Pau Fa Mohina Lua Fang Yao Sheng Fang Antonia Fenner Christopher L. Fidalgo Jessica Luna Fidalgo Betzalot Solomon Ficker Shaimez Haise Flatley Roya Amaniar Formuli Talisa Franzen Jason Nicholas Friedman Natasha M. Friesenhahn Zechariah Mimun Fusen Julian Galarza Marben Furman Galicia Carla Gallardo Damian Jamie Galvan Robert Cherupi Gomez Yenny Garcia Rishiv Gotham Tanasha Nairi Gaten Joanna Girma Gebri Leah Meritab Gabrezga Bahir Khadija Gasja Mahendok Goje Avicinia Iriasia Akna Gibson Victoria Marie Gilbert Yosan Tiglai Gurmai Samuel Guslin Anna Damaris Gonzalez Cecilia Gonzalez Natalia Gonzalez Sonia Gonzalez Gabriela Gonzalez Renda Pablo Guadalupe Gonzalez Vasquez Katori Goodman Indonesia Graham Henry C. Greer Randall A. Grimm Akela A. Gro Shiwen Gu Dulce S. Guerra Madun Gay Diana Guzman Abil Habtai Nagesti Pumhana Hai Ha Milkyes Tewaldi Hale Caroline Noel Hall Jada Denise Hall Nabila Haliche Kansing Yukman Ham Lopez Lene S. Hanna Osiris Harden Kayana Harris Catherine Laurel Hathaway Yi Ching He Cyril Edward Helms Adrian Hernandez Andres Hernandez Emmanuel Hernandez Thomas Hesketh Diana A. Hidalgo Laura S. Hidrobo Nathan Hitchcock Ming Chen Ho Chesia Xiao Jianzhong Hu Jiaping Huang Surin Huang Wei Huang Weijia Huang Jinhao Huangfu 
Avery Quinn Huter, Christopher James Hughes, Violet Treadwell Hull, Jennifer Sarah Lok Ying Hulse, Sushmita Humagain, Kayla Hurtado Maganya, Kwang On Luke Quinn, Kang Hin Quinn, Iris Iglesias, James W. Inc. Nico Matias Interiano, Abdul Momin Janjua, Bahare Javahari, Susie Teresa Jung, Christian Jimenez, Martin Sebastian Jokmik, Tamika L. Johnson. Wayne D. Johnson, Adriana Marcella Juarez, Dean Caba, Anna Cade, Myrna G. Collini, Chloe Camber, Maya R. Kaplan, Michelle Kapuscinski. Kashaf Sukmin Riar Kar Fatima A. Kelly Mary Kadka Eamon Khan Monet Chanel Irikel Kanyal Patrick Joseph Corey Tenzin Kayensa Miju Kim Sungjun Kim Mitchell David Clausen Malia Knops Paolo Francisco Lacoste Shirley Lai Max W. Lansing Scott Laraway Zachary Andrew Larson Dennis Lau Luis Enrique Laurier Lydia F. Laurent Thomas Camille Laurent Roderick Sheridan Lawrence V. Hong Fuang Lei Alana Adele Lee Angel Lee Sung Jun Lee Irene Lei Angelica Leon Isabella Caraccio Laporte William P. Letchworth Luna Star Leon Elliot M. Levy Searing Hamo Jahua Lee Youngshan Lee Tzuchen Lee Sophia Q. Leon Aaron J. Lim Alice Lin Hai Chi Lin Juohue Lin Rushin Lu Olivia Long Jennifer Lopez Mariela Isabel Lopez Sergio Lopez Jovan S. Lowe Brisa Lowry Hugh Tin Ma 
Annie Mack. Jonathan Madrigal. Yanlit Madriz Zarati. Camelpreet Kar Mali. Sarabjat Singh Mali. Edwina Marielle Malmberg. Elena Maria Manenti. Christian Manning. Armando Maravilla. Euphemia Martino. Ephraim Luis Marcucci. Jesai E. Martinez. Mercedes Martinez. Randall S. Martinez. Jerome Masudi. Rosalind Matthews. Michael Salazar Mattox. Lauren Sidney McCaffrey. Bonnie Day McGarity. Trinity Ciara McKenna. Lilila Malahi. Michaela Itchel Mena. Andres Mendez. Paloma Linda Mendoza. Alejandra Mendoza Cordero. Jamie Giovanni Mendoza Ramos. Natalie Mesterhazy. Nancy K. Miller Patton. Chris Lamar Miller. Jasmine Joy Miller. Simone Mitchell. Jill Takako Mochizuki. Zubi Momond. Ho Kwong Muck. Carmen Nora M. Molina. Ariana Catalina Montano. Calvin Andrew Montano. Veronica Morales. Norma Isabel Morales Rangel. Brian O. Moreno. Giuseppe Q. Mosher. Mohamed Mubashir. Mayada Mohamed. Shane Muldowney. Brittany R. Mullins. Mungtua Miag Marsarin. Karishma K. Naidu. Gergana Nakeva. Chiharu Namba. Ayate Nasser. Manija Nasimi. Kostya Alexis Natsulis. Island G. Navarrete. Michael Angelo Navarrete. Monica Noemi Navarro. Michaela Linda Ndaki. Amber Nicole Newsom. Tzu Ding Hm. Emily Tan Kalingo Nguyen. Yiru Ni. Webaza Nicholas. Lisa Nieves. Mira M. Nilkamp. Mona Obeyed. Roberto Ochoa. Ariel Denise Ochoa Ozcanaga. Leslie Ochoa Cabral. Azumi Okamoto. Samuel Sholadoy Olan Rewaju. Nadine Ayarim Ordas. Delaney Ray Ornelas. Jared Orozco. Takumu Osa. Kainat Ahmed Pasha Kyle. 
Carla Padilla. Amanda Marissa Paris. Melanie Para Guerrero. Peter Patricios. Ishwar Kalyan Pediboyna. Rivka A. Panarelli. Carlos Perez. Isabella Alessandra Perez. Beatrice Mercedes Perez Cordero. Shirley Ann Perkins. Brian Van Pham. Ivy Pham. Steve Fu Loy Pham. Daniel Punsavan. Miguel Y. Piedra Montano. Frian Mahernuz Pitawala. Jonathan Pisano. Shamela Potts. Susanna Praver Perez. Jonathan P. Prudenti. Eric Casado. Julie Ann Nicholas Quillen. Quincy James Quinton. Jennifer Quiros. Merit Bringas Rabara. Sophia Raiz Elfeni. Yvette Alejandrina Ramirez. Maritel Ramirez. Joseph Rapello. Francesca M. Rasea. Chelsea Elise Rathcamp. Eric Baxter Eugene Ray Love. Tyla Simone Redding. Rachel Rester. Christina Ravilla. Faith Giselle Reyes. Chelsea Jael Reyes. Claudia Stephanie Reyes Urrutia. Joe Damon Reggio Curley. Ava Carolina Rivera. Giselle Annette Rivera Hill. Jesus Rivera Jr. Brian Rodriguez. David Ezekiel Rodriguez. Angelina Rodriguez Salazar. Elizabeth Joe Rosenberg. Christian Noel Matrio Raxis. Lizeth Bernice Ruiz Sabido. Corin Emily Russell. Nadir Sadu. Alonzo Adolfo Sainz Vega. Aaron Shane Salisbury. Joshua Alberto Samaniego. Gabriel Rene Cabrera Sanchez. Nadia Itzel Sanchez Rivera. Star Sandoval. Simone Ebony Sanford. Juan Jose Sansano. Valerie Verishi Sante. Jessica Santian. Ashley Claudette Santos. Carolina Beatrice Santos Serrano. Aaron Suzanne Sapo. Christian P. Scalache. Carla S. Schick. Alex J. Schmaus. Jared Schumann. Sydney M. Schofield. Samuel Alexander Sebastian. Christopher Robin Sees. Monica Stella Segura. Jane Margaret Selman. Jose Luis Serrano Jr. 
Shamir Salim Sheikh, Leanne C. Sims, Daman Singh, Nadia Malia Sitadev, Gina Sengchen Sivle, August Masato Smith, Ryan M. Smith, Jeanette Herminia Snyder, Diego Soto, Eric Ryan Stearns, Angela Marie Stewart, Deborah C. Stinson, Anderson Stokes, Yuhao Su, Tetsuro Sugimoto, Shawnice Sumter, William Sutton, Crystal Scarlet J. Swan, Melissa Gonzalez Tafoya, Saijiro Takahashi, Jessica Tamayo, Monica Tamayo, Nung Tang, Ruri Tanimoto, Tuan Tat, Natasha Ganjur Tehrani, Niat Yamana Tekla, Josh Kupferberg Temple, Kyle Matthew Terizzi, Mikal Yosef Tawalda, Samprata Tapa, Rance Kasim Thomas, Luke Walter Thomas, Rance Kasim Thomas, Michael Andrew Tick, Audra Lynette Tipton Moore, Ayana Noni Tolliver, Arturo Torres, Valeria Torres, Patricia Toscano, Anna Gabrielle Turiel, Brian Tran, Tao Ton Tran, Jonas Haile Tsegai, Oyunkin Saranamid, Mark William Tyner, Chiaki Uyama, Jonathan Bidwell Umini, Barbara Vanikova, Jacqueline Vera, Andrea M. Verdusco Espinosa, Wendy Rosemary Villalobos, Grace Margareta Vincent, Juan Jose Viveros Riascos, Kyleen Vo, Nina Janelle Walker, Tamara Walker, Biao Wang, Yunyin Wang, Claudia C. Ward, Allison Denise Washington, Kala J. Watkins, Nathan Way, Taylor P. Weller, Killian Ray Went, Jenner Bartell Witt, Robert Wiggins, Chantel Nicole Williams, Clinicia B. Wilson O'Neill, Bridget Nicole Winston, Winta Habtamarium Wuldefell, Michael Philip Adam Wu, Janelle Danae Woodard, Christian Dawson Wortham, 
Celine Fumi Wu, Jun Shan Wu, Zhuangfeng Wu, Kameng Wu, Nikita Wu, Tai Hong Xie, Siki Shang. Sophia Cyan Ricks Zikas, Kuan Yun Shu, Shendi Shu, Bridget Mendoza Yamsen, Sarah Paulina Yanez, Chris Yap, Daniel Vernon Yates, Junyi Ye. Medina Yedlova, Kamal Raymond Young, Audrey Marguerite Youngblood, Jessica Yu, Jafang Yu, Batao Yu, Navid Zafar. Carla Paulina Zapeda Chavez, Vanessa Marie Zertucci, Ziwan Zhang, Hongjin Zhao, Liam Zhu, Yanyu Zhu. By the authority vested in me by the Peralta Community College District Board of Trustees and the Board of Governors of the State of California, I confer upon you the degrees of Associate in Arts, Associate in Sciences, Associate Degrees for Transfer, Certificates of Achievement, and Certificate of Proficiency. Graduates, if you have a cap, please move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Graduates, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, Interim Chancellor Jackson, the esteemed faculty, staff, and administration at Berkeley City College, I congratulate you on this momentous accomplishment of your graduation. Your success in earning a certificate, a degree, or transfer is testament to the work you put in and the support you have received along the way. While our part in your journey has come to an end, please know that the BCC community will always be here to support you in your future endeavors. Felicidades. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2021.